Let's try solving the problem coronavirus spread to uh, there in the athletes in a line uh, for each valid I. There is some position and his speed, the athlete speed. Um, for any real time t greater than 0, the position is given the linear equation i multiplied by t, i plus v into t, speed into time. Sounds good. Okay, so one of the person is infected by coronavirus at time t equal to 0. So it spreads from an infected athlete uh, to another when their positions are the same. A newly infected athlete may infect others as well. Okay, makes sense. Uh, we do not know which athlete is initially infected. However, if we wait long enough, a specific set of athletes, depending on the that was initially, that is was infected initially, will be infected. Your task is to find the size of the set, that is the final number of vector. In the best, uh, okay, so we have to assume like the best case scenario and the worst case scenario. Uh, okay, makes sense. Final number of infected people. Okay, let's take the input. So input is t, then there is n, then we are given speeds, right? Okay, so starting points are i only. So like for v1, it's 1, 2, 3, and so on. Okay, we have to print uh, like the smallest and the largest number, uh, best case and the worst case. So test case is 10 to the power 4. Oh, this is really small, the n and b, that's like just 5 and 5. So if, if n is just 5, like we can maybe assume that, that maybe kind of like a brute force solution. Let us assume like for each and every person, if they were infected, then uh, how many person would they affect? And correspondingly figure out like what was the best case and the worst case. Makes sense? Yeah. Good enough. So let me just remove my previous solution. I think we should be able to brute force for this particular solution directly. So int n, same n, int a yeah, 10. This is the constraint of the final problem, right? Yeah, seems like that. Okay, and then put i comma zero comma n. So I'm inputting the velocities. Let me just update to v, same v of i. So int. So let's say best case scenario is, let's say and that everything gets in uh, everyone gets infected worst case is let's say just the image the single person who started like i'm just taking like the worst case because like ultimately for each candidate it will be uh, best is equal to minimum of best comma the new candidate similarly for worst worst will be uh, maximum of worst comma the new candidate so rep i comma zero comma n so in and equal to 0. I do need to uh, populate this, then best will be minimum of best, which is the already answer, or this candidate. Similarly, worst will be maximum of worst, comma, the candidate, and then simply print what the best and the worst. Seems like it's best and the worst. Best worst and this should be good enough so what i do need to do is like just try to figure out uh, what the value for candidate should be so what i can do is if j comma zero comma n if i equal equal to j continue otherwise i have to see if i and j intersect or not so if i and j do not intersect uh, and that means j won't uh, be added like j won't get infected at all uh, so initially i am assuming i is infected i is infected so if uh, a and j intersect 
uh, J will get infected as well. Otherwise, J won't really get infected. But what would happen if like uh, J in infect someone else after this time? It should not be before. It should be after, right? Uh, I see what the issue is over here. Yeah, the newly infect athlete may then infect others as well. So instead of doing this, what we can do is like kind of like simulate what would happen at every time, like at time t equal to zero, uh, uh, what happens and then t equal to one, then t equal to two and so on. Uh, then maybe like we can just look into how many times, like what will the worst case time till someone might get infected. Um, So if the uh, so the maximum time it can take for someone to intersect, I am trying to figure that out. So let us say the first person at the first position, uh, i equal to one, has some velocity, let's say v one, and the last person i equal to n has velocity v2 the maximum time in uh, the worst case would be like the first and uh, the last person inter intersects and that too happens when the uh, difference in speed is very less so for example uh, this is 0 and this is 1 so ultimately like in t equal to n minus 1 everyone will be able to intersect if possible Otherwise, they will never really intersect at all. Because for each, every uh, time, uh, like after every single time unit, uh, the distance, like because V is integral, will at least decrease by 1. And that's why, and the maximum distance is actually n minus 1. Yeah, makes sense. So let me try simulate this directly, maybe in separate method. Try for I so let me try simulating this and answer try for int infected. So let's say int infected. Uh, let me also keep n as well. So initially, let us assume uh, no one is infected. Infected of i equal to zero. Then I'm saying uh, this got in, uh, infected. So this is equal to one. So initially, that's the case. Mm -hmm. So what we can do is like uh, let's try solving the equation directly for each pair. J starts from i plus one and goes up to n. Now for each pair, we will try to find some time uh, at which it is possible for them to uh, wait. Okay, so what we will do is let me add position as well. So, pause of i equal to i plus 1. So, what I am saying is that position of i multiplied by velocity of i, sorry, this is plus, plus t is equal to uh, position of j plus velocity of j into time t. That means uh, 
this goes minus and this goes minus and t goes over there so this implies t is equal to position of i minus j divided by velocity of j minus velocity of i so if velocity of j equal to, equal to velocity of i they won't uh, no direct interaction else they do interact with each other at time this so if t is uh less than zero again no direct interaction uh, so this would happen is like uh, when velocity like as in uh, 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 velocity is already high enough for another person they won't re if we go back in time they might have uh, interacted with each other but yeah not in future uh, otherwise direct interaction so I kind of like store this particular value. In fact, it's not necessary that this t is integer. Let me make it double. Yeah. And do I need the exact timings? No, right. Let me just keep it an offset so that I can keep it an integer. So let's. So what can be the value of this? The maximum value can be five, right? So five factorial five into four into two into two, two, one. So let's multiply with minus twenty directly. So cost int offset equal to one twenty. So this will actually make my job easier in implementation as in I said offset multiply by this. Now this will definitely be some integer. Otherwise they uh, actually interacted at some time t divided by offset. But what I need is like really just uh, kind of like uh, a sequence of times. So I will figure out all the pairs and then I will sort uh, at the uh, like the time of interaction for them and then kind of like iterate through each. So vector of pair of int which will be time comma pair of int comma int the pair uh, which is actually infected. So simulation uh, simulation dot pushback make pair of time comma make pair of i comma j. Then what I will do is I kind of like sort the simulation. So if no one really in, interacts ever, so if simulation dot size equal to equal to zero, that means there will be just one person who is infected. So return one, and we are done. done. Otherwise, we will have some interaction. So int. for in start equal to zero uh, start strictly less than uh, simulation dot size and I'm not really putting the last condition because I will update start explicitly so while 
int equal to start while end plus one is strictly less than simulation size and simulation of start dot first the time is equal to equal to simulation end dot first that means uh, by I'll, like I have all the same timestamps the T by offset things some shoe over here yeah so this is fine now uh, I'll just do n plus plus Oh, sorry, this is not the sorry. Yeah, so now all the events starting from start till end uh, occurred at the same time. So if any one of these were infected initially, uh, they will get infected. That's the case, right? Yeah. So, uh, bool any infected equal to false. For in j equal to start, j less than equal to end, j plus plus. If in J, then any infected will be equal to true. That means one of amongst these was infected. So if uh, any infected, if any one of these was infected, I have to do something and then finally start will be n plus one. Now what I have to do if any of one of these was infected, I will again iterate through these and kind of like update this is not j right like if simulation of j dot second dot first this is one person similarly there will be second person yeah so if any one of the two people was infected already, then I have to do something. What I have to do is, I have to mark everyone as infected. Let's keep it as boolean. So I will say that yes, you have to infect this. Yeah, similarly, yes, you have to infect this person. Um, anything else? No, right? And finally, I will iterate over the entire thing. In answer equal to zero. Answer plus is equal to infected of I. So if this person is infected, I will simply add it and then return. This seems about right. Let's try to run this. Try four. I'm taking input from file. Let's try to run. So one one three three one 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 two one one three three one one two 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 one two. So this seems about right. Uh, let's try submitting. Okay, I got a wrong answer. That's weird. So let's try to have some test cases. 
especially where let us say uh, this is like one by five thing. Maybe let's say just take this one. There are just two people, and velocity. Of, let's take two test cases. So velocity of first is let's say zero, and second is five. It can be zero and five, right? And similarly, uh, for second it's like five zero. Let's see. So for second case. Everyone will get infected for sure. Either this or this was infected. Makes sense. So what would happen if I make it three? And let's say this is five. Okay. Uh, so they're saying like worst case, everyone gets infected. Best case, no one gets infected. It seems a little weird to me because. Five and five, like uh, these won't interact at all. So let us say this person was infected. The best case is not really three but two. Okay. Let's see what is happening. So let's maybe trace this. T comma I comma J. Let me in fact print t multiply by 1.0 divide by offset the actual time. Oh, sorry. I had to print that, not. Okay. So for 0 and 2, they interact at time 0 0.4. For 1 and 2, they interact at time equal to 0 0.2. Why this is being calculated again and again? Okay, uh, this is like when infected person is different, right? Yeah, I think I can like maybe just do the simulation once and then check for other. It's just that like the constraints are small, so small I can recalculate the simulation should not be an issue. 0 0.4, 0 0.2, 0 0.4, 0 0.2 makes sense. Now I kind of sorted them. So first I will get like 0 0.2 thing. So this seems about fine. So let me print uh, trace. Oh, this should be n plus one because like only then I will do the n plus one. Yeah, seems all right. Submit. Yep. So at least the partial answer is correct. I still have a wrong answer. Let's see. There might be some part, uh, something which I left again. So uh, let's see, this is n plus one. So let's try printing this. Time is equal to. So at 
time equal to 0 0.2 I'm trying to do and then 10 time equal to 0 0.4 and this is when infected person is yeah so I have to actually look for this particular use case only like when infected equal to the 0 it, it is showing 2 and 3 now right so this has been fixed let me try to look, find another use case where this is failing so maybe I can try proofreading, proofreading my solution first well let's try generating some solution so let's say 55505 So the best case is just one is infected, which is this one, I guess. And the worst case is one, two, three, and four are infected. And let's say this zero is infected. What about this? So best case is two are infected when one of these is infected. In worst cases when zero is infected. Both the best case and the worst case are like when just one is infected. I see. So let's say zero, one, two, three, four. Again, best case and worst case should be one, one. And what about four, three, two, one, zero? Both the best case and the worst case are like this. Yeah, makes sense. One, two, three. Is that the case? Everyone will get infected. No matter who has the infection, no, right? So what would happen if uh, this person is infected? One should not be infected, right? Yeah, seems about right. So we will start with like when infected is actually equal to two, this thing. So U is already infected, B is already infected and then I'm like uh, got infected U and got infected B. In fact, let me just try to run this for, let's say, infected is equal to 2, right? 0, 1, and 2. Because if this person is infected, one should never get infected, ideally. So, 0, 1, 2. Let's try running this. So, initially, uh, 0. 0 0.033 okay so at time uh, equal to equal to this okay okay um, so we uh, this was already infected and 2 was already infected so 0 got infected uh, 2 all, was already infected
0, 2, and 4 got in infected at time equal to 1. Let's see. So at time t equal to 1, this uh, it will be like, uh, so initially positions are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. At time t equal to 1, the positions will be 4 plus 1, 5, 2, 3, 3, 4, 4, 5, 4, 5, 6, 7, and this will be 5. So 0, 2, and 4 got infected. That makes sense. Now let's say time equal to 3. This is like twice of uh, the speed, right? Uh, 8, 8, 5, 13. Uh, This will be 3, 4, 5. This will be 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. This will be 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. And ultimately, this will be 5 as well. Ah, I see. I see. So, at time, at a particular time, there are two interactions, but at two different positions. And that's causing a confusion over here. Hmm. So let me add the positions as well. So let me make it a pair of int comma int where the first preference is time, time comma position. int interaction position so what will the position that will be equal to let's say position i multiply by let's have an offset for this as well velocity of i into this t right and t is actually the time is actually t by offset so this is a plus so instead of this let me have because again i just need kind of like a identifier so i want to keep t as it is so let me just add offset over here as well so this will be wait. so I'm just like multiplying the entire position interaction position by offset and storing that so offset multiply by position plus this into this and I'm storing interaction position first dot first equal to dot first and even the positions are same only then I will uh, iterate over the next and then this will be what the time is this I don't really care about position anymore at the end of the day and that's it right so let's try running So uh, 0, 2 and 4 got infected, uh, then at like time equal to 3, we reached over here, uh, over now 0, 2 and 4, right? 
infected not infected infected not infected infected currently that's the case oh so this will actually get infected as well but at the end of the day i see but yeah uh, i believe this should be the case like the position thing that was the issue let's try submitting now this weird uh, am i just printing something wrong let's see input is this what's the answer then let me remove all the traces ah i did not update this sorry One one three three one 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 two. Let's try submitting again, and this should be about right. Yep, that's it for this problem. Thank you.